Hey everybody and welcome to another craft tutorial. If you're new here, I am Corinne Blackstone and welcome to my craft room. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm so excited to show you this new tutorial. Be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. That way you can be part of my crafty family here on YouTube. It's totally free to subscribe and I would love to have you as part of my crafty family here. Today's video is all about sublimation. This is a really, really fun thing to do. If you guys are not into sublimation yet, look it up. It's super fun. We're going to use some of the color change cups from 143vinyl.com. These cups are really, really fun. They change white with hot liquids. I wanted to give you guys a little mystery on this one as to what these will look like when they're done. So I don't have any liquid in them right now, but you can see they're white on the inside and black on the outside. They will turn white around the cup and the handle for the most part stays black as well. They're really fun and they change with hot water. Something super important to note about these cups though, these cups are specifically not microwave or dishwasher safe. So just these color change cups are not. So that's just something to note, especially if you're going to give these as a gift or sell them. You're going to really want to make sure people understand that because typically a sublimation mug is microwave and dishwasher safe, but these ones specifically are not. So please, please, please make sure that you note that. We're going to use our Cricut Mug Press to do this and it's really fun and really easy. So let's go ahead and get started. Whatever we would do, we do it just for To set this up, we are going to use Inkscape, but I promise you it's not intimidating. This is a really easy thing and kind of a great way to introduce yourself to Inkscape. So I think it's a really fun and simple way that you can do something. So we already unzipped our design and this design is really easy, which is why I said this is something that I think is great for introductory to Inkscape. So you have two different sizes. You have an 11 ounce and a 15 ounce option. So we're going to use the 11 ounce option. We're just going to open Inkscape and all you simply have to do is just drag it and drop it. It's going to ask you these questions. Just go ahead and click OK. Now with this image, we are going to need to turn it so that it prints the correct way or you can just change the orientation of your document page. So what you can do is go to File and go to Document Properties. And mine kind of goes off to the side, but I'll just pull it over. So I want to make sure that I choose US letter and then you can just change it to landscape. Simple as that. You don't need to turn this. You don't need to do anything like that. It's good to go. So you can kind of place this wherever you want to on your sheet. I like to do mine kind of in the center just because I think it's easier that way. And then there's a couple things that you can do next. So you can either flip this on your page because you need to mirror sublimation prints. So if you come up here to the top, you'll see where you have flip selected objects vertically or horizontally. If we flip it horizontally, it mirrors our image and then we can simply print. But let's say we don't want to flip it that way. There's another option. If you go to file print, you're going to choose the printer that you're going to use. So we're going to use our ST4000. That one is loaded with our StarCraft paper and our StarCraft ink. And I'm going to click on preferences. The first thing that I want to do is change my quality to high. And then I'm going to go into more options. Under the more options setting, I'm going to turn off high speed and I'm going to turn on mirror image. That's automatically going to flip the image in our printer. Now all we have to do is hit OK and click print. We have our design, we have our mug. You can see that they're pretty much the same size. I could have made this a little bit bigger, but there is a little bit of a spot down here at the bottom that doesn't actually turn white on these mugs. So I've got my paper trimmer, so I'm just going to use that to actually cut off our design. I did leave a little bit of white on either side just to kind of help where I put the tape and things like that. So this is the mug that we are going to use. This is just the 11 ounce from 143 vinyl. So now what I want to do is I'm going to wrap the cup just to see if I need to cut off anything or resize at all. You can absolutely just trim this down a little bit if need be because sometimes the measurements might be just slightly off based on your mug versus the mug that whoever made the design used. But this one's pretty accurate, so I think it looks pretty good. 
All I'm going to do is I just want to get this lined up as straight as I can on this end, and then I'm just going to put this piece of tape down. Then all I want to do is I'm going to keep this nice and straight all the way around and make sure that it's laying straight. And we're going to put another piece of tape down. And that's going to hold that on while we add a few more sheet little pieces of tape. Now I am going to trim off this little corner because it's causing it to lay a little bit funny. And there's nothing on there, so I'm not worried about it. But it is causing it to lay a little funny against the handle, so just to be safe. Now, you don't have to put a ton of tape on these. Um, you just want to make sure that it's held down tight. So there's a few spots I can see that where I'd probably like to put a little bit of tape, like right here along this edge, because it isn't super flat right there. And I'll do the same at the top here, because again, it's not holding it super flat because of the handle. So all I'm doing is just placing a little bit of tape right here to hold it down. That looks pretty good. I always just kind of double check it, make sure it looks nice and tight. It looks good to me. I don't like to put a lot of tape on. You'll see a lot of people put a ton of tape on. You don't need to, as long as you've got it tight. So then I'm gonna cut a piece of butcher paper. And all I'm doing is just sort of guesstimating the size. This doesn't have to be exact, but this will help with any blowout. So meaning any bleeding from your paper from your, your sublimation paper. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna take a piece of tape and I'm gonna line this up with the bottom of my mug and I'm gonna put this piece right against the handle and tape that down. And then all I'm gonna do is roll my mug and I'm gonna find where the end is here by the handle and I'm just gonna cut this off. Now I do with the Starcraft paper tend to put a couple extra layers on. Um, I do get a little bit more blowout on this paper because the ink is so strong. It's such nice ink, but you will want to be aware of that. So I do like to put a couple of layers on. So you'll see now I have this other one. All I need to do is cut this in half and it should fit the mug pretty well. And eh, not quite. So what we'll do is we'll just cut another piece. We can also make sure we just cut this off as well. You don't have to cut this off, but you can. I like to, just so I can make sure that everything's gonna stay nice and straight and tight, but you don't have to cut that off. But I'll cut another piece of butcher paper and just do the same thing where I'm gonna line the um, mug. While we're cutting our butcher paper, I'm gonna go ahead and turn our mug press on. We're just gonna use the Cricut mug press and I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit so that we can get that ready to go. And then I'll just line my mug again and we can get ready to press. Once your mug press is heated up, you'll see that the light turns green. And all you need to do is load your mug into your mug press, just into this large open space here with the handle pointing out and you're just gonna slide it in from the top, slide it on down. You wanna try to keep your handle very centered within the hole here, and then you're just gonna press down this little lever. And the larger your mug, the less pressing you'll feel like you have to do. It'll get tight right towards the top. Now we're gonna let this sit, and you'll see that you have little lights on the top of your mug press. Once it gets to start blinking at the fifth light, I will come back so you guys can hear it beep when it's done. I'm sorry, I got distracted, I missed the beep. So it beeps, you open it, and then you want to gently pull out your mug. Now on this one, you can see the handle change colors because that's hot. So keep that in mind that your mug is going to be hot. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this over. So I have this on a heat press mat. I do recommend putting this on something heat resistant. And we're gonna go ahead and peel off our design. So I'm gonna start with the butcher paper and it's okay if you rip the paper, it's totally fine. Not a big deal. And you can see that we do have some blowout on our paper. I'll show you guys that up closer in a little bit. So I like to have a pin pen handy because sometimes peeling this tape is not always super easy because it's hot. But I do recommend peeling this while it's hot. A lot of people say, oh, wait till it cools. A, you don't need to, and B, I actually find waiting till it cools, I end up getting a lot more ghosting and I end up with it sticking, like the paper sticking to the cup. 
So I'm going to go ahead and peel all this tran this uh, heat tape. So again, I'm just using a pin pen to lift it. That way I'm not touching the hot of the mug. Now the mug is currently white, so this is a great thing that you guys can see right now. The mug is white because it's hot. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull this off. And check it out. Super bright, super pretty, really, really lime green, really, really fun. So I'm going to let this cool off, turn back to black, and then I'll show you it color changing. While we're waiting for our cup to cool, I wanted to show you what I meant by blowout. So do you see there's a little faint bit of our design on the butcher paper? That's why this butcher paper is really important. You don't want to have this type of stuff get onto your press in any way because it can press onto other items. So that's just why this butcher paper is really important. You can see the second layer doesn't have any of that on it. So it was really good that we put an extra layer. So we're ready to pour in our hot water. So I'm just using some hot water I got. Um, I just warmed it up on the stove a little bit. And I'll show you guys how cool this is when it changes. It's so fun. It changes super quick. It's really easy to do. And this is just something fun that you can do with sublimation. Again, this color change mug is from 143 Vinyl. I used StarCraft ink and StarCraft paper to create our sublimation. And I'll link the sublimation design down below, but you can really use anything that you want to and that you like. If you have any questions, please let me know in those comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as part of my crafty family here on YouTube. I hope you guys have a great day and happy crafting.